Digital started developing IoT solutions a number of years ago, and we started developing them along with our joint venture partner, Sony, and a joint venture called Convita, focusing on standards-based technology. So we started with a standard called 1M2M, worked in multiple standards, and built a core IoT platform. Along with that, we also built a, a, an operating environment for IoT called Watt.io, webofthings.io. And what we've done is we've integrated those two together into broader solutions for different verticals in the IoT space. From Interdigital's perspective, we've always been a standards-focused organization. And from our perspective, standards are extremely important. What we see today is a jumble of different, different implementations that are, are many non-standards-based. What we see is IoT is very broad, so we think it's not going to be any one standard, but a collection of standards. And our view from the beginning on our efforts on IoT, going back five, six years ago, was to be very involved in the standards bodies that would develop the full suite of, of standards. So it includes both 3GPP for the, what would be the radio access for IoT. We worked within 1M2M and other groups in terms of defining how services would be delivered. We work within the IETF, which defines the internet protocols that would be used for IoT. Plus we work in multiple industry fora groups that don't necessarily define standards, but define requirements to drive interoperability. So for us, standards are all about interoperability. They're about, they're about building global markets, leveling the playing field for all people and all companies to compete. So for us, it's always been important to help create that underlying ecosystem that everybody can build from. So all of our, all of our technology is built off, of, built off of standards, and it's not one standard, it's a whole suite of standards, and in some cases, different standards in different verticals. We look at, at different verticals. Interdigital's been focused uh, on, a, on a handful of uh, verticals. So we've been focused on uh, intelligent transportation, smart cities, and you could really say intelligent transportation is really a subset of the broader smart city. Smart city also would include environmental sensors and other things that make cities run. We've also focused on smart building solutions with, with our partners, and also, fo also focused on industrial and enterprise, enterprise solutions. We haven't done much in, in uh, consumer space. Our model in terms of go-to-market is through partners, through integrators and aggregators. We would work in that space, but we, we think that those other spaces are really, are really better suited for the, the type of integrated approach that we've provided. So if we look at one transport, that's really a, a great vertical example where all of the different pieces that we've created and the different standards come together. So in one transport, we've basically taken a, a one m to m service layer, then we've used our Wadio as basically an environment to tie it together. So the Wadio not only orchestrates the southbound interfaces to legacy data sources, and we, we did hundreds of data sources, 20 unique types, so it's automatic license plate, video feeds, parking information, any information that cities would already collect, integrated that into the 1M to M uh, system, the data then is normalized and available for applications from, from 1M to M, and then we use the Wadio to still integrate additional uh, value-added components, analytics, databases, other services, security, that help make a complete vertical solution. And included in the one transport, we're also including, we're, we're building out a data brokerage where the, the authorities, the counties, and the cities that are, that are currently deploying this, they can actually take the data that's their data, and they can actually broker that data for, for people building applications. So from many different data sources across multiple entities, can offer that data to people that build applications, and those counties can then get some return on their investment relative to the data that they've, they've collected. From an IoT ecosystem perspective, uh, almost nobody brings a complete end-to-end -end solution. Partnerships are absolutely important, and, and in different verticals, different partnerships are important. And even our go-to-market model is basically through partners, to help us achieve scale. So some of the partners that we've worked with are in the one transport system. We've worked with, with Arup and a number of other, other the actual governments with actual uh, applications developers. 
For smart city, smart building solutions, we've worked with Harman, uh, Entrust, a number of other companies. And then also, more recently, we've started working with Computer Associates for some smart city and some metering solutions as well. And if you look at it, we, we've brought a, a horizontal platforming capability, but in order to, to have that deep knowledge in a vertical and really build out compelling solutions for the end customer, you have to build that through partnerships. The partners, the partners often have the customer relationships and they have the deep knowledge of what the customer needs in, in that vertical. So we work hand in glove very closely with those partners to build a complete solution at, that, that, that they can not only bring to their customers, but we get it right, they can then bring it to multiple customers and then scale their business and scale our business. What I would say early on when we are in the research and development phase and you're working in standards, and this was a number of years ago we started working in, in this, technology tends to drive the beginning in terms of defining what can be done for different use cases. But in the end of the day, it has, it has to be customer and partner driven. It's what, it's what an end customer, whether it's a municipality that wants to leverage the data they have, whether it's an enterprise that wants to make more efficient use of its space and reduce its capital expenditures, it's really about what the end customer wants. So core of technology is important, but if you're really not applying it and building something that's important to an end customer, really, it really doesn't bring much. Uh, to the end application. So I, I think at the end of the day, it's really the most important to what, what the customer needs are and what you can do to make their, make their business more efficient. The IoT has had great promise and the real challenge for IoT and for us is, is to be able to build solutions that are complete enough for end customers. So we as everybody else have have pieces of solutions and we're building full solutions in the verticals. So the challenge is, is to build solutions that are compelling enough for the customer and complete enough that they're turnkey. So when a customer says, I need a solution to do X, we're not just handing them a bundle of technology. We're, we're showing them this is what the solution can do and then we can actually modify and tailor it to their needs.